little bit more effort in order to do uh, the, the onward and the, the earth the earth shatters that we are gonna see are I don't, I don't know what do you think what do you think about this draft whichever was a whichever team that pops up the team fight first follows up and fast and that really can make the have to win the game. Yeah, coming straight into win game number three. Whoever wins this is going to go up against Team Spirit. Team Liquid against FCAT. Let's get it on the road. Oh, JP, what you doing there? Hello there. Okay, he's going to just invade the jungle because it knows that Kyle with that Lancelot is going to be a little bit get slowed down. Now, I mean, not to hate Lancelot at this current patch, but I feel like Lancelot right now to be marched up against the other jungles, she is relatively quite slow compared to the other assassin jungles. So with, with some other delays, it's going to be putting Lancelot into a hard time into farming that fast like it used to be. But so at this rate, Team Liquid has a much early on um, map control. But right now as a Garden, it very oh. going to be spent out of the... Oh. Also, the Pride of Ice and the Flicker gets spent by uh, Senji. That is, as they say, unfortunate. So yeah, uh, that's some really nice utility being burnt out from the side of Team Liquid. So that means uh, FCAP can uh, afford to be a little bit more aggressive. Now, judging by the rotation from Cult TZ, I don't think that they're going to go for the early ganks against uh, Benny QT, which might be a slight shame and... What? Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay, I guess. Or... Uh, you do you, hun. So yeah, the Phantom Execution coming out from Cult TZ already, or I guess he didn't have the puncture, so that's a good escape, I guess. I think it's fine because right now, the, I mean, as the Phantom Execution was having a quite <laughs> short Z uh, cooldown, so I guess it's okay as long as it escapes as, as soon as we speak another phantom execution just right there so it's it's just fine in the early game with the phantom execution it's just there to really pop up to just escape and that's fine for that now we are talking about the, the, the turtle fight and really looking forward to see how does this contest go going over now it's going to be the first blood going on to over to stand for first blood here but kyle tz is just coming here to steal away the turtle and now the fight continues down for gets a double kill old gwen gets shut down but a few will be taken down as well and now eventually kyle tz with low hp jp ensures his demise yeah the, the triangle just not enough uh, not enough iframes to keep him alive for the lethal was it? Yep, for the lethal ignition. So unfortunately, he will have to go. Now, although FCAP did get the turtle, they kind of lost three members on their team. So in terms of gold, they are falling behind just a little bit. As you're going to see, Ogwen here running away with the power of nature and JP trying to give some chase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to be giving a little bit chase now. Sanford using a primal wave, oh trying boy. to go 1v1 oh against Slap DC. Oh it's boy. a little bit low, one hit, no! okay. Flicker just saved him for now. Spear Destruction miss, fine. But it's okay, that primal wrath from Sanford early game popped off. Chunked up a lot of damage and Flap TZ suffers a lot right here. So, this is the early game that Team Liquid has been wanted to see for it. Like, Impulse might be just popped out for Super Marco, shut him down. Thorn Rose might just popped out as well, just in time, taking down Carl TZ. But Ogwen is there, slam him away. Now, some may say that this is a good trade, but I think this will have went to the side of Team Liquid. Okay, the Frigid Glacier, okay. Oh. Okay, Phil. Okay, very nice, very nice. Yeah, so although Carl yep. TZ did fall, he did manage to kill Super Marco. That means Super Marco is going to be losing out on the gold lane. And Benny QT is just going to be able to have that EXP and gold advantage against him. And mm -hmm. FCAP, they really don't want to see a late game carry come online. So in this in this sense, Team Liquid is just one step ahead into their plans. Yep, like they're just being one step ahead, and we just see that Thunder Belt has already been obtained by um, Sanford. So there is a certain amount oh. of true damage at this point, and 
Sanford right now is going to be as if as early aggressive like it used to be. So now Team F Cap will really need to be very careful in terms of popping up fights. And now Team Liquid would need to be more aggressive, but at the same time be careful to make sure they don't go overboard at this rate. The Carl PT unfortunately was forced to clear that top wave instead of competing for the turtle as well if the minions did rush in that's going to be more than half of the tower destroyed already but flap tz opting to help out in the mid lane to get a little bit of farm sure it's going to help you a little bit but unfortunately uh called tz will have had, have had his hands tied and Owen is just going to walk away from three members of the group Thanks to the power of nature was immune against the wall, against all the crowd controls. It was just massive for Falcon. Now take a look at the itemization as we speak up early that um, Sanford has already obtained the Thunderbell and now the Warrior Boots to ensure his physical defense. So, and any single basic attack that he was able to do, he's going to stack up with that much hybrid defense. So for Team Liquid right now, they have the defense, they have the damage, they can just go all out. And eventually now Kao TZ speeds up with the minions. It's going to be harshly for, for the objectives to be far, harshly favored over to Team Liquid. Now, FCAP, they do need to be careful. Yeah, I, I think if, if you saw the gold just now, you'll see something quite interesting. Like, despite Super Marco getting like ganked just now and Ben QT having a slight lane advantage, Super Marco is just slightly ahead of farm compared to Ben QT. So, so that means um, they're, they're actually not that far behind in terms of the gold laners. So both teams really have to protect the gold leaders to prevent each uh, either side from getting the edge. But not right now, the turtle fight will be starting. Minuas already gets, gets popped up, and Paul TZ was able to take down the turrets as well. Oh, oh. we shut down. But now it's time for the fight as Reek Fcap falls back. But Super Marco is able to take down the first tur the first turret in the top side as a balanced trade for Fcap against Team Liquid. Now ultimately, Liquid has a huge game lead. Yeah, that's but now Flappy oh. right now is going to face off oh. against three or four members at once, and Flap TZ will be saying bye bye as Sanji use on the second skill and take him down. Yeah, he really, really, really did not like that Teresla. I mean, uh, like uh, Flap TZ did cause a lot of problems for them previously, and so maybe that's him just like you know venting his frustration. But feel oh, oh, a really nice wild flick of charge. Here comes the wall shots now. Also, the bit of Frigid, uh, Frigid Glacier just comes in. In effect, Fuel is a little bit low right there. He cannot move any further. Now, Sanji forces another flick as well. And now, eventually, they fall back. F Cap is now on a passive mode. Speedy Light will just be able to get that purple buff away for Team Liquid. Yeah, Fuel, in the, in the midst of all the commotion, managed to grab the uh, Frigid Glacier away from Sanji. So we're going to probably be seeing two uh, two floors of ice being casted by both teams in the next team fight. So speaking of which, FCAP's pressure has drastically increased. Has drastically increased right now as FCAP is just showing a little bit of... Uh... How to say that? It's not really drastically close even still, but now FCAP, they do need to find a slit to try to burn the, 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 the formation down. Team Liquid are just going to extend that advantage before the Lord pops up in less than 10 seconds. So I'm looking forward to see how the fight goes on. Yeah, right now, both sides, they do have the Frigid Glacier, so that's something that both sides need to take note of. So probably if Ogwen goes in with the uh, Garden Barrier... Oh, okay, Ogwen will be called out! Okay, not much skirmishes that happens now. Garden Bear just to reset the lore to in to initiate the lore jiggle jiggles there. And yeah, for now there's no fights until now. Carl TZ do smell it right on the top lane. Now Super Mario is uh, is in trouble right now. 1v1 against the two members here. Carl oh, TZ dear. on the hunt. Super Marco goes go, go to the start. Take out Sanford trying to make a play, but Sanford ultimately shakes the earth. And push him down. Yeah, this is the opening that Team Liquid was looking for. Now, without the uh, without Super Marco on that Moskov, the amount of physical damage that they can do has been cut by so much. And now, with five members on the team.
team. No threat from the Spear of Destruction coming out just yet. They are able to take this Lord. Here comes the Lord as now the Minos Ring has him popped out as well for Sanford to take the Ogwen and Carl TZ is going to shut down Flap TZ. Sanford gets the Lord and Team Liquid going to extend this victory even more and looking forward to deny the reverse sweep for FCAP. Well, but it isn't over yet. FCAP still has a chance to come back as long as Super Marco can farm up. Now looking at the items, oh, Carry already has the Trinity build, but Super Marco isn't that far behind. But I would say it's a little bit far behind because that Moskov at this point, he hasn't really get the Golden Staff complete, but compare-wise for Carry, who has a decent oh amount of damage, but speaking of which, in the top <laughs> side here, Sanford is just willing to fall with the Revenge Strike from Flapteezy. And yep, for right now, Super Marco was able to not yet have the, I mean, enough items to pop up against Team Liquid. But right now, as soon as we speak, Team Liquid extends their um, domination into the top, the mid lane and the bottom lane. Unfortunate wasted lord right there. I'm not sure what Sanford was doing. Maybe he was just like you know going on a little excursion, but. Team Liquid does have a little bit more advantage as long as uh, FCAP doesn't really uh, uh, capitalize on that. Now, even with Sanford's death, we're going to see the top tower being chucked down by the minions down to just a sliver of its health. So now that's something you really don't want to be a part of. Yep. So at this rate, for Team Liquid at this time, they just play along with aggressions, but FCAP slowly a little bit stepping up because they know that they were able to utilize the mistakes coming in from Team Liquid. Ooh. But Ooh. the question Ooh. is, how much does this go? Look at the damage from Benicuti, aye, aye, aye. and as well as for Sanji. The Grok just got popped up so well. Meanwhile, on the top side here, oh, the oh, Flicker oh. comes in to try to secure the kill, and Sanford taking down. It's double kill for the Idif and my, that might just be a Team Liquid looking forward to end the game. Yeah, that was a really nice Flicker Earth Shadow coming in. But what's even more impressive is this Flicker Minoan Fury. Unfortunately, Sanji will go down with the Pride of Ice. But that's not going to stop their rampage as Few is the only member alive. Will he be able to mount a defense? The answer is a resounding no as the tower goes down for FCAP and Team Liquid moves on to fight against Team Spirit. Shout out to Team Liquid, the clash of Titans against Falcon AB. The cavalry Red. comes out Finally, on top. After losses, after A losses, victory right now, by Team, team Liquid, liquid once 2 to 1 again, over Falcon AB. Win in this tournament 